Today, a Puyallup father had a chance to speak to the man who killed his daughter. But instead, Cecil Daly told a judge about the teenage girl who was murdered while out riding her bike. New at 5.30, the father tells our South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson he doesn't want his daughter forgotten. My life has been completely changed by Kimmy's death. He's told the story before. I not only lost my daughter, but I also lost my best friend. But Kimmy Daly's father wants to make sure the man responsible for her murder heard it again. I was robbed of the happiness of seeing Kimmy grow and mature into the person she was meant to be. August 2010, Daly, a special Olympian, a 16-year-old with the mental capacity of a 10-year-old, never came home while out on a bike ride in Puyallup. A week later, 18-year-old Tyler Savage led police to her body. She had been raped and strangled. Law enforcement agencies... During the three years he waited for a trial and justice, Cecil Daly created a legacy for his daughter. He helped establish a new law triggering Amber Alerts when people with developmental disabilities are missing. I live my life with Kimmy in my mind with everything I do. Daly chose not to address his daughter's killer. He wanted this sentencing to be about Kimmy. Mr. Savage, is there anything you would like to say before the court sets sentence? A jury found Savage guilty of the murder last month, and today a judge sent him to prison for life with no chance for parole. It is justice on her behalf. Daly's father is satisfied with the sentence, but closure is just not possible. I get partial closure only from the legal point of it. I still have to deal with her not being here for the rest of my life, so I'll never have closure on that. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. Cecil Daly says he hopes Tyler Savage suffers for the rest of his life in prison.